Oh, go on, my brothers, yeah? You know what I'm saying? Tonight, I want to talk about the way the crime's gone mad in the communities and that. Because, see, back when man was doing mad crime, because my generation, you know, was a generation where it kind of turned from the man them doing crimes against the government to the man them starting to do crimes against ourselves in a mad way. Don't get me wrong, it was going on before, but not as much, yeah, as it started to change up in my generation. You get what I'm saying? Because if man look at it, yeah, man, them, my elders and that, they were just licking like POs, banks, all sort of government thing. They weren't licking the hood, you know. If anything, we had a thing where we was bringing money back into the hood. You get what I'm saying? Even when I started my little juggling and doing my thing, yeah, I was coming out the hood, doing my thing out the hood and coming back and feeding the hood. That's what it was. It was a Robin Hood thing back then. Do you get what I'm saying? There was very scarcely man robbing each other or man moving to each other. That could have only happen if there was beef between them two men. Do you get what I'm saying? It would have never just happened randomly. Like, out of the blue now, you just see you, boom, spark off something and it's just like free for all thing. It was never like that. Man, I'm a robbing everyone in the hood. You crazy. Man was more bringing money back into the hood. Then man, man started on government moves. You understand what I'm saying? Then man brought man in on government moves. That's how it started first. You understand what I'm saying to brothers? So I don't know about all this robbing man from the hood and taking from your hood. Take, take, take from your hood. Brother, how the fuck is the hood going to get up and straight if the man then just keep taking from it? Man, I have to try and turn this dynamic. I'm saying, look, if you're a real gangster and you're a real bad boy and you're saying you're a bad boy in this thing here, and you should be looking for the government fam where they got the mole spread. They got the mole spread. See them hat and garden old boys. They put most of you criminals to shame. The man them on the strip at to shame. Like that's real bread. If you're going to go and do something, do real bread fam. Don't do no dead food. It's an illusion that the government moves are, are, are out of man's realm. Nah bro, if you know something and you got the inside job bro, come on man. Anything can be accomplished brother. You understand? I'm not saying to the man them do crime, but I'm saying if you're going to do crime brothers, yeah. Then best you do it against the government and stop doing it against your own fucking community. What's already dead. That's why the communities can't even fight no more. They're, they're, they're worn out from all the crime that's been going on to them. That's why they're sleeping right now. Jono, man, chats to them. But it's like sleeping because they're just so beaten up by what's going on. You understand? But the way man can change that is to spin around certain things. Man, I have to spin it back around, man. Man can't be robbing off the community no more. Go and rob out the community, brother. Go and rob the government outside your community. Bring it back to your community on a Robin Hood thing. A man can rate you. Man can respect that. See them old boys I keep going back to it. The Hatton man, them. The man that's still pattern now. It don't matter, fam. Pattern their grandkids, pattern their kids. What, brother? If you're going to do crime, then do it properly. You understand? You think you're touching them old boys in jail? You think any man's touching them old man in jail? Come on, fam, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We've got man, man running up and down around there and their estates doing nothing. Just rascal like robbing people in their own estates. You get me? You think that's succeeding in something. But you're not succeeding in nothing. You know what I'm saying? When you're doing them sort of moves there, brother. You get me? You get me? And I'm a big up a special someone as well. You get what I'm saying? Background, foundation, you know. New man from when day dot. Yeah, OG Veli, you don't know the thing in it. Yeah, my brother. We spoke today and it's a thing where, you get me, remember them young Gs, you get me, them young Gs are turning to solid man them right now. And that's young Gs man used to see on the playground, you get me, and make tough and them thing there. Them man they're now solid, you get me, turning to real men. I must have seen some mad thing, some horrific picture where some youth must have got slashed up. And I'm just telling the people them, just imagine if that was someone close to you and you're looking at that person slashed up, what the fuck are you going to do about it? You see what I'm saying? That's why we need to start getting these associations on ends to stop these kids doing a madness because we have to have repercussions for this sort of thing. And I'm talking road repercussions, you know. I keep telling man, fuck jail. No one can't be doing no, no one I love like that. And we're talking about prison. Fuck prison. Do you understand? It's getting horrific out here now. Little young G's and that getting slashed stupidly. Like, for no reason. Come on, my brothers and sisters. Now, hear what I'm saying? We've got to fix up this thing. And the next thing I see, that police thing where... Like, the two women feds must have searched the underage gal and that. I remember they searched the underage gal, you know. When the gal's on her threads and them thing there. Like, come on, no parent there or not. I mean, you need to get a parent there before you're searching the girl like that. And she's going with things, you get me, as that young age. You get me? She's going on with her thing. Yeah, you need a parent there. There's no way you should be searching this girl like that. Not despite of cannabis or what. It's nothing. You can't be doing that. You understand? This is the thing where I'm saying there's no respect within the law to the youths no more, or to the communities. You think the feds will be doing that if they knew bare people were coming out? The association was coming out to address that. I told the man them already. The association addresses every problem. These sort of things would not be happening. The schools would have a lot more respect. Any sort of institution will have respect for the people them now once they start seeing this thing going on. They would have never stripped that girl under her reds like that. Come on, man, at that age, that's disgusting. You get me? People need to lose their job for that, 100%. That's what I'm saying.
But back to the slashing thing with the youth, yeah, the youth look in pain on the bed, you know. When I see the youth, come on, man, little kids shouldn't be going through this. They're not at war, you know. We're going on like these little kids are at war. They're not in war. They're not in Afghanistan. They're not in this Russia thing. Why are we seeing them cut up like this over stupidness? Come on, man, we need to wake up on the thing. Associations, I told people, big up Miss Lee as well for posting the association thing. The real soldier there, you know. Yeah, he's done what time is. We head over to a girl. Sheik. She'd say, why have you got a man on your back? What? She'd say, why have you got a man on your back? I don't know, I don't know, man. It's just peak, man. I didn't ask him to do this. You get me? I don't know why he's doing this. I'm not, I didn't, like, I, did, I wasn't told this was going to happen. I'll tell her that it's just peak and she'll just, she has to understand, man. Well, you're quite a pumped guy. You're pretty fit. I, be, be careful with words like fit, like, when you're on my back, bro. Okay, sorry, sorry. Uh, what, what, what your, your ripo? Can I call you that? Don't worry. Let's just move on from this I want to know thing. now. It's, I'm gym. Go around I, I go to the gym. I'm gymmed. You're gymmed. Okay. Yeah, right. I don't. Think, I think you're the only person in the world that says that, right? Oh, hello, hello. What's going on here? This is peak. This is so peak. What was the last thing you forgot? Your name. No, I did forget your name. Cause I don't have like, to spell it. Oh come on. You're yeah. used to spelling com complicated names. Can we, can they we... call me S K E P T A. You're a nerd. You have the perfect height here to tweak one of your nipples. Well, I gotta go, man. Gotta go. Yeah. Let thank me down. you. Imagine we were in a club together. I wonder if they can get a blood floor for um for like for this sort of thing, you know, for TikTok making people aware of social media, not just TikTok but social media itself. Yeah, there's actually a lady on here who's watching who gets trolled to death, like absolutely trolled, and like I've seen some of the comments on her live what they say to her, and it's absolutely insane. Yeah. Like, why not tell her she's beautiful? Why not tell her, like, have a wonderful day? Oh, I like your hair today. Oh, you're looking yeah. fabulous. Why, why, yeah. why, why not just why do that instead? Be, this is what, this is what they, when, uh, when I was saying I went on to that live, it was like that. There was, it was someone, like, pointing out the fact that, like, her nose and stuff like that. I was like, why can't you just go and say, have a beautiful day and go? And if you don't want to say anything nice, scroll past. <laughs> Yep. You don't have to be on the live. No one's making you go on this live. No one's making you comment. Only yourself can do that. Yeah, you've chose to do that, you've, yeah. Yeah, you've chose that path to put a nasty comment. So then, yes, you are part of that if that anything bad happens because you are the one that's outlaid that bad comment. Yeah, that's true. Like, it's crazy, isn't it? Like, it's not the, my... The